At that time, there were uh, maybe 20 places in the country doing heart transplants. So they really were pioneers here in Fort Wayne, weren't they? And um, now there are, I don't know, 120 hospitals in the country that do heart transplants approximately. And um, things have been much better worked out in terms of immunosuppression and the techniques for the surgery and how to keep people alive beforehand um, and, and the selection criteria for both the donor and the recipient. All of these things have been refined. They're not perfect, but they're a whole lot better than they were 25 years ago. Um, so they really started it at a time when things were not as well worked out. We have um, a very active research program. You know, we, we publish in national peer-reviewed journals and such and then present at meetings the results of things that we've done in heart transplantation that others want to learn from. And that's kind of a humbling thing. And it is a, it's, a, it's a very important point to be made about Lutheran Hospital. It's not just doing uh, the things that we were taught to do 25 years ago. We've, we've pushed the envelope quite a bit. Some of the things I can point to are um, when I first came here, no other program in Indiana would accept diabetic recipients. We were the first to do that. Um, we did extend the indications for using donors. We used hearts that other programs would have thrown away. In one case, we actually did a coronary bypass for a single lesion on a donor heart and then transplanted it. Uh, that was kind of a new concept in the world at the time. Um, we did use older donor hearts um, that would have been thrown away. And we have, you know, UCLA puts out this record book of transplantation uh, with unique records in any kind of transplant, kidney, uh, uh, pancreas, lung, etc. We have some of the oldest used donor hearts that are still working um, in the world. Um, Another thing that when, we've, when I first came here, no other program in the whole region was accepting patients who had had a previous cancer and were cured from it. Because of the concerns about immunosuppression re-releasing re that cancer, and we started doing selected numbers of those patients. Um, and then these things that we did, we studied and tabulated and went and reported so that other people then started doing those things. So not only have we done a, a pretty steady number, there's certainly programs that have done a lot more heart transplants than we have, but our transplants have been very well studied and thought about and presented elsewhere so that others can learn from our experience too.